Three civilian ships ran Russia's blockade of Ukraine. A trio of civilian cargo ships, one each from Israel and Greece, plus one with Turkish Georgian registration, ran the Russian blockade in the Black Sea on July the 30th and anchored at one of Ukraine's grain ports on the Danube Delta. That's according to Forbes. According to the article, this is the first time that foreign ships arrived in Ukrainian ports after Russia's refusal to extend the Black Sea Grain Initiative. According to Forbes, a flock of NATO aircraft carefully monitored the ships as they sailed towards Ismail. The vessels presumably will load grain in Ismail, then sail back into the Black Sea and onward to foreign ports. The Israeli vessel with the ship tracking handle AMS-1, as well as the Greek vessel with the handle Sahin-2, sailed north from the Bosporus Strait, while the Turkish Georgian Yilmaz Kaptan sailed west from North Turkey. Overhead, no fewer than four NATO warplanes patrolled, a US Navy P-8 patrol plane, a US Army Challenger with a surface scanning radar, a US Air Force RQ-4 drone, and an E-3 early warning plane from NATO. None of the planes routinely carries weapons, but NATO fighters, including Italian Eurofighters and Romanian F-16s, were nearby in Romania. The three cargo ships made no effort to obscure their intentions. They all switched on their radio transponders, making their location and course visible to anyone with access to the internet and ship tracking websites. Reports of three civilian ships sailing to Ukraine unhindered may suggest that Russia is either unwilling or unable to enforce such searches at this time, the media outlet said, citing the Institute for the Study of War in Washington. On July the 17th, Russia announced the termination of its agreement with Turkey and the UN regarding the Black Sea Grain Initiative. After that, the Russian Defense Ministry said it would consider all ships bound for Ukrainian ports as military targets.